Jack was walking home after a late night at work, but then he slowly started to feel dizzy, and everything turned into darkness. He opened his eyes in a jungle. When he took a look around, he spotted a jaguar which was slowly waking up. He needed to run. There were three different paths ahead. Which one should he choose? The first path is covered with fog, which makes it easy to get even more lost. The second path leads to a steep, rocky terrain, which can slow him down if the jaguar decides to chase him. So he should pick the third path. But hey, maybe you're a true adventurer, unlike Jack. So let us know in the comments if you would choose another road. Jack followed the road and arrived at a riverbank. Something was not right. What did Jack see? And here's a question for you, which is also a hint. What is the weirdest thing you found in the water? And look inside the river. There are small historical artifacts floating in the water with the stream. Ancient looking artifacts. But as soon as he did, an arrow flew by and stuck in the tree right next to his head. Someone was attacking him. What should he do to escape them? Don't let Jack get hurt. See these giant flower leaves here? They're actually covering the entrance of a cave. Jack should go and hide in there. The cave was pitch black, but fortunately, Jack had a lighter in his pocket. As soon as he walked further inside, he tripped over something. When he checked out what caused this, he saw a three-digit combination padlock covering a secret door to an underground tunnel. There was also a note next to it, hinting at the right combination. Take a look at it. Can you help Jack crack the code? Let's check. The answer is 0, 4, 2. Did you get it right? Jack took the stairs that led to an underground lair. That's when someone came running to him and said, Please help me save my husband. The evil doctor, he cloned him. I don't know which one is him. And I only have one chance. How can Jack figure out the real husband? This lady's husband doesn't have much time. Identify him in the comments before it's too late. The answer is the guy on the right. If you were able to catch the name tag the lady is wearing, you saw that her name tag is Lauren. And check out this guy's tattoo on his arm. It's the letter L. So he is the real husband. As soon as Jack helped the lady save her husband, an evil-looking archaeologist entered the lair. Congrats, you passed my test. I knew I captured the most clever person to help me find the immortality crown of the Kingdom of Solaris. Once it is mine, I'll only let you go back home. Now we must hurry to the temple gates to find which one this key will open. Once they arrived there, there were four different doors. Which one is the right door? What do you think is hiding behind the wrong doors? Write in the comments. The key they have will open the third door. The door led them to an empty room. There were only three sticks and a note on the floor that said, Solve this and the next step on the path to eternal life will appear. If you can't, you'll forever be trapped in here. Turn these three sticks into four without breaking a single one. They just need to make the shape of four, and three sticks are enough for that. Suddenly, the walls began to move apart, expanding the space into a much larger area. Jack realized they were in a maze now. Then, a giant ball appeared behind them which would crush them if they couldn't find the exit. Take a look at the labyrinth from the bird's eye view. Can you help them find an escape? Let us know in the comments how many seconds it took you. Here's the path they should take to exit the maze. 
At the end of the maze, there were four different columns with images of dotted squares on them. The evil archaeologist said, We need to press the image that's different from the others. If we press the wrong one, we'll set off booby traps. What kind of trap do you think they are? Write it in the comments. The fourth one is different. After pressing the correct image, a secret passage opened, leading them to a circular room covered with four different mirrors on each wall. In the center, there's a pedestal with an ancient scroll that read, You'll find the path to the immortality crown only behind the true reflection. But pick the wrong one, and you'll end up in the tombs. Which mirror should they pick? Who among your friends can spot the differences fastest? Write it in the comments. The mirror on this wall reflects a slightly different color than the room. This mirror shows a spider on the ceiling that isn't actually there. The third mirror reflects a slightly distorted shape of their body, so they should choose the fourth mirror. It turns out the mirror was another door. It opened and led Jack and the archaeologist into another room. There were four different guardian statues there all but one holding a gemstone in their hands. The one without a gemstone suddenly came to life and said, Place the correct gemstone into my hands, or you'll turn into a statue like me. Take a look at these gemstones on the floor. Which color is the correct one? By the way, how about you let us know your favorite color in the comments? So to pick the correct color, you need to take a look at the pendant around each statue's neck. The first one holding the red gemstone has the fire symbol. The second one holding the green gemstone has the earth symbol. And the one holding the yellow gemstone has the air symbol. So since the fourth statue has the water symbol, that means it needs to be holding this blue gemstone. Once Jack placed the correct gemstone, all the guardian statues started moving around, revealing the statue of a king, wearing the crown of immortality. It came to life and said, Answer my riddle and show your worth to wear my crown, never resting, never still, moving silently from hill to hill. It does not walk, run, or trot. All is cool where it is not. What is it? The answer is hidden in the name of the kingdom. It's sunshine! Once Jack gave the correct answer, the statue of the king handed the immortality crown to him. But before Jack could grab it, the archaeologist attacked him and took it for himself. That's when the room started filling with water and three doors appeared. The first one led to a cliff with sharp rocks. The second one led to a room filled with toxic gas. And behind the third one? There was a lion which hadn't eaten anything for three months. From which one should Jack escape? Come on, write your answer in the comments before the water fills the room. He should pick the third door. A lion that hasn't eaten in three months would not be alive. The moment Jack crossed the door, he opened his eyes on his bed. Turns out, it was all a dream. Or was it? How can you know? Drop a crown emoji in the comments if you spotted it immediately. Look! The immortality crown is here, behind the curtain. It wasn't a dream! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.